Benjamin Higginbotham with TechnologyEvangelist.com here talking today about high definition video and what all the numbers and letters mean. First, let's start off with the difference between progressive and interlaced. Understanding the difference between progressive video and interlaced video is key to understanding high definition. Interlaced video is what we've been using for many, many years and is the fundamental technology behind standard definition. Half the resolution is gone. It's virtual. It doesn't actually exist. And the way that works is you split every frame into two fields. And the first field is every other line of information. So every even line of resolution is on the screen, and every odd line of resolution is not on the screen. It's black. The second field reverses that, where every even line is black, and every odd line actually has all the information on the screen. When you combine those two fields, you get one frame, and they flash back and forth very, very quickly. But what that means is that at any moment in time, you never have the full resolution available to you. You've only got half the resolution on the screen. Now, it flashes so fast that the human eye cannot perceive the changes in the field. But what it does do is create something called interlaced artifacting. Now, interlaced artifacting is when you're taking something like a soccer ball, and you kick it really quickly across the screen, what ends up happening is it smears, it smudges. You get these weird lines that break through the ball because half the information is virtual and the set can't actually keep up. The human eye can perceive these changes. It also makes it extremely difficult to put interlaced content on a progressive monitor. Now, most high-definition monitors are progressive. Your plasma monitor is progressive. Your LCD screens are progressive. Your DLP screens are progressive. The only thing that really leaves are CRT monitors. So what is progressive? Progressive video is where every single line of resolution is on the screen all the time. There is no virtual field. Everything is a full frame. And that means when you kick that soccer ball across the field, all of the data is there the whole time. There's no weird smearing. There's no interlaced artifacting. None of that. So the picture is pure and perfect every single time. When you go watch a movie in the movie theater, that's progressive. When you watch an HD DVD or Blu-ray disc on your high-definition television, that's progressive. Progressive is the best way to get all of your content on the screen all at the same time. So why does this matter? Let's next talk about resolution. There are two resolutions in high definition video, 720 and 1080. Now, the progressive and interlaced goes after that. So 720p would be 720 progressive lines of resolution. In other words, all of the data is there all the time. 1080i would be 1080 virtual lines of resolution, so 540 actual lines of resolution. Notice I said 540 actual lines of resolution. Well, this is a tricky, interesting area here, and that is when you shoot 1080i or when you're displaying 1080i, there are actually 1,080 lines of resolution on the screen. So you get all that extra detail, but half of them are off at any moment in time. So if we were to convert that to progressive, it's 540 progressive lines of information. Uh, it's not exactly fair comparison because they're flashing so quickly that the human eye can't perceive them. But they're not there. <laughs> they're virtual. And that's what creates a whole bunch of problems. A lot of people think that 1080i is a standard above 720p. But because of that virtual information, it's not. It's actually, quality-wise, 1080i at the bottom, 720p next, and then 1080p. 1080p being 1080 progressive lines of resolution, or all of the resolution out there. Now, HD, DVD, and Blu-ray, they can do 1080p. You can download 1080p on the internet, but you cannot broadcast 1080p, at least not today. The highest broadcast lines of resolution that you can go is 1080 interlaced lines, or 720 progressive lines. So that's why we say at Technology Evangelist, 1080i comes below 720p. If you had your choice, I highly recommend doing 720p before 1080i, especially if you have a plasma monitor, an LCD monitor, or a DLP monitor, because your display technology is not interlaced. It's progressive. There's one more number that comes into the formula, and that's the frame rate. Understanding frame rate requires, again, understanding the difference between interlaced and progressive. See, interlaced is two fields makes one frame, so they measure the frame rate by fields not frames. So let's use 1080i versus 1080p, for example. You'll sometimes see 1080i slash 60. That means 10,080 interlaced lines at 60 fields per second. 1080p slash 60 is 1,080 progressive frames at 60 frames 
per second. So interlacing gets you every time. It gets you on interlaced artifacting and it gets you on frame rate. Because 1080i60 is really only 1080p30 and it's got all that extra interlaced garbage that makes the image look like poo. So let's go over the actual HD quality spectrum again. It actually starts at 1080i and then it goes to 720p and then above that is 1080p. Now a lot of people say, well what about 480p? Technically, that's not high definition. That's considered enhanced definition. 480i would be standard definition. So the entire scale looks like 480i being standard definition, 480p, 1080i, 720p, and then 1080p. And that's how the entire high definition spectrum works. Now, a lot of people will argue with me saying that 1080i belongs above 720p, and a lot of people will argue my point that it belongs below it. You know, there is no right answer. The one thing is 1080p is the ultimate place to be. You, that's where you really want to be. There's not a high def format higher than that. It's all progressive, so it's all real. 1080i is an interim format, and with all the pains it gives you, with interlaced artifacting, you have to increase your bit rate to get a better looking picture, uh, and with the frame rate problems, don't even deal with it. Stay with 720p or 1080p, if at all possible. So those are your high definition formats. Hopefully, now you understand what all the different numbers and letters mean, and what will work best in your situation.